Oh, hey everyone, how are you doing? So, I wanted to talk about the loss of one of my best friends, my dog Jet. He's been um a huge part of my life for the past 12 years. I wanted to take the time to put a few of my thoughts down that I've had recently and put them on camera in the hopes that it might help someone else who uh, is feeling a bit down at the moment. So, I do apologise if this is a bit abstract, but this is some of the stuff I've been thinking about recently in relation to um, the loss of my, my dog. So first, I think our idea of individuals is completely wrong. So, in China, there's the idea of the big self and the small self. They believe the big self is yourself in relation to other people. So this could be your friends, your family, your community, your country. Pretty much you name it, any relationship that you have forms part of you. And the small self is you as an individual on your own, basically. And I find this distinction really useful. I think... If we have these sort of multiple personalities, then when one of them is lost, then a part of us dies. So again, to elaborate, there are certain customs and certain things that I would do with Jet, my dog, which I wouldn't do with anyone else. Just silly little things which sort of make made her unique. And whenever you think about these the things that you did with the people you loved, well, you get very sad because a lot of the stuff that was your lived experience on a day-to-day -day basis is becoming memory now and you're not going to have access to them anymore, to the people you cared about. So you're losing a big part of who you were, in a sense, and it seems unfair, really, because... You're never going to get that back. You might have other people and other relationships in your life, but relationships aren't irreplaceable. And people are irreplaceable. And I think the sense of loss extends beyond people. Um, if you remember, there was a movie that came out a few years ago called Inside Out. I think that actually looks at loss beautifully. It's... Uh, it's a great movie. Now, the main character didn't actually lose a person. She lost a place. The place where she grew up. And again, all her happy memories turned sad. And you can really see her sort of going through the process of grieving for everything that she's lost. <sighs> it's a great psychological movie. So why am I talking about the big self and the small self? Well... When a relationship ends, that part of you is gone forever. All your habits, all your routines, the little things that you would do together. The fact I used to <laughs> let my dog out front in the garden and she would only come back in when I offered her a treat. <laughs> she was so smart. But uh, yeah, she was she was just um, a brilliant dog and I don't think we're ever going to get a dog like that again. So, um, we're different people all the time. We're a different person when we're with a teacher than when we're with a parent. We're a different person when we're with our best friend or when we're with a boss. We behave in different ways and people view us differently. You, you probably wear different clothes on the weekend when you're not working, but when you are working. And even something like this will change how people see you. So... The loss of one of these relationships is extremely stressful and painful and yesterday was just in bits really. Um, feeling slightly better now, I'm just trying to remember the happy times we had together. <sighs> so when we lose someone close to us, all of a sudden that part of us is just gone.
when we lose someone it's very useful if we can reach out and try to connect with other people and we can make those relationships that we have with them even stronger i think this is a really good way of helping us get over loss but of also dealing with it from a sort of almost a biological standpoint if we've lost someone we depend on then reaching out for help seems like a sensible thing to do and i just wanted to thank everyone who's reached out to me when i've um said about this instant just thank you so much and i also think everyone mourns in their own way a lot of people might feel guilty if they don't feel their mourning correctly but there is no proper way of doing it we all mourn in our own way <sighs> just give yourself permission to feel better sometimes and I guess try to see the bigger context sometimes of the other relationships in your life the, the things that make it worth living um, I know it might be a bit of a cliche but if you feel thankful for the things you have in your life no matter how small it kind of puts you back in control to a certain extent that's another thing i found about mourning someone you feel completely out of control you can't see them again ah, something's been taken away from you but yeah i i guess that's all i really wanted to say guys i don't know if you've found any comfort in any of these words hopefully you have um, just reach out, I guess that's all we can really do. I'll see you soon, guys.